lot to be thankful for. Um, so I decided to go ahead and get started early on that. Um, I've made a lot of progress, a lot of breakthroughs on my uh, model for the Bosch uh, camera um, on the last few weeks. I haven't posted any videos, um, but uh, it was time. So uh, basically, that I, I made it. I got to the point where um, the model really is can't improve much without. Um, I don't think it, I, I don't think it can be improved anymore without um, more data, and um, I don't think that my um, uh, overall results can be any better without um, tuning. So it's it's time for me to work on the um, actual implementation of uh, the model with OpenPilot, um, and, and so I'm, I'm trying to get it get, figure out what my hardware pl uh, strategy is going to be. I'd, I'd like to uh, I'd like to have it run on the Eon, which I think is is um, is going to be uh, probable, uh, but I'd also like it to run on an external SPC. Like a, a Jets, a Jets and Nano, or um, uh, Raspberry Pi Four, or whatever. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm really thankful for um, Commas uh, Open Pilot. I couldn't be where I am right now without without that, and I'm really thankful for um, uh, the Bosch. Uh, camera that, that came with the car. It's an incredible device. Um, I think it's so underutilized with um, uh, the car. Basically, the, the Honda is using like less than one percent of of the functionality of, of the um, the Bosch camera. Uh, it's 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 just it's a shame. I'm uh, I'm embarrassed for them, uh, but. There's a that leaves a lot of room for um, the aftermarket to come along and um, enable a lot of functionality for for um, uh, Honda owners. And I imagine that there's going to be a lot of uh, the same room for growth with other manufacturers and and even the the, um, the non Bosch Hondas like the Nidic. Um, Civics and CRVs uh, that have been around forever. Uh, I haven't really looked much at the data that they that they put out, but it, it, there is a lot more than is being used. I can, I can tell that just from what I've seen. Uh, but so it's more about the Bosch right now. The, the, the really incredible thing is that the, is the Bosch is observing not just this lane, it's observing the lanes on each side. So right right now it's using um, four lane lines to determine position um, and angle. So uh, my model, though, one of the big breakthroughs I did uh, over the last couple of days was by separating out these two from these two so that if either of the, the the, the two, the four, the two sides go away. I can still interpret what my current lane position is um, just from the two on one side or the other, um, and that was a that was really a big improvement for uh, centering, especially on roads with um, uh, with a, you know faded lane lines on one side or curb uh, with no lane line. Uh, in this particular example, I've got you know, I've got lane lines on um, on in front of both curves, but on, on a lot of the road the roads I drive on, they're two lane roads and they just have uh, a center stripe with no with no stripe on the right side or left, and so the, the having having the the camera actually reading both curves it improves the accuracy uh, accuracy on whichever lane I'm in. explanation but um, anyway I, I'm really just ecstatic about this I think there's um, I've only have 11 hours of uh, training data I have not I've been just digging my heel in the sands trying not to increase that before I was ready or before it was really really needed because I didn't want to um, I didn't want to move the mark um, for you know, where I was at it, there would just be no way for me to know whether I was really improving the model or whether it was just data. Um, 
so this is the first time that I, that I know that I'm actually ready to progress with more data. <clears throat> so what I'm planning on doing, um, I'm hoping, or I, I'm losing hope, but I'm still hoping that um, Comma will um, embrace the strategy and will reach out and say, yes, let's do this. And, um, uh, you know, put their hardware forces in place to, um, you know, start supporting cars that uh, have good equipment already um, and without having to have something on the windshield. And so they haven't given me any, any uh, reason to think that they are interested. They haven't even acknowledged that it's, that, that, that this has happened uh, yet, but I'm sure they have to face up to it eventually. Um, but somebody is going to embrace it and is going to start um, offering um, some sort of a, a device that, that is headless. Um, I would call it like a headless headless ghost rider, like the headless horseman sort of thing. Um, I like headless ghost rider. I, th I think that's a that has a really nice sound to it. Um, I don't know how it would be explained in marketing, uh, but but just not having the Eon on the windshield, I think, is a really it's a really nice improvement. I just I just don't like having that thing on the windshield. Um, it draws attention. Um, it's not legal in most states. Is uh, it, I mean. Uh, so this is great. I haven't figured out what kind of a UI um, it should have. I, I, I think it should be just either, you know, a phone-based options, you know, web app sort of thing or whatever. I'm not sure that there really are that many options to have. Um, I think that driver monitoring is is a, an issue, but I think that um, the strategy that, that that OP has, well, until recently, uh, with just you know requiring the interaction from the driver, I think that is sufficient. Um, but I'd be open to working on some sort of a you know a cam a, a driver facing camera um, that's not obtrusive, no screen, it's just on the, um, uh, you know, somewhere pointing towards the driver, uh, looking for interaction and retention. I think that would be fine, great. Um, but it's not a major concern for me at the moment. driving um, a something like an hour and a half long high, driving the highway uh, to my family's Thanksgiving dinner uh, and I plan on doing a, uh, like a time time lapse or time warp uh, GoPro video and I'll publish that you know, probably tomorrow night uh, but it'll be I think you know a, a better a better watch than, than what you're seeing right now at night. I, I, I really wanted to do this during the day uh, but I just could not get the, I was trying to get the um, NVIDIA Jetson to, to you know to replace my laptop which I'm still so I've still got my, the, the Eon is, is right here, and um, it's still acting as the, the control server central thing. But I'm having to still use my, um, my laptop as the, to, to run the model. The, the Jetson, I, uh, I really think it's, it, I really blame this, the comma smaze. Uh, for this this issue because I think if I if, if the smaze that I bought a couple months ago worked um, 
I'd be running the I'd be running the Jetson right now instead of my laptop, but um, it didn't. So I I tried setting up a kind of an extreme uh, Wi-Fi you know router thing where I could uh, get decent uh, response times, but it just it just didn't work out. So I went ahead and just turned that off a few minutes ago and went back to my laptop. Um, basically, when the when the Eon is the um, is the Wi-Fi router. It has excellent Wi-Fi response, um, but if it's a node off of a Wi-Fi router, it, everything just kind of falls apart. So um, my Jetson, it, it just um, it's Wi-Fi sucks. So basically I need to have something, I just need to have it all running on the Jetson or all running on the Eon or have a Smaze that works. So, you know, we'll have to see where that goes. Save. Cat like reflexes right there. <laughs> 